Today's episode of Podski Outdoors comes to you from Eastern Pennsylvania. As you can see, no matter what time you watch this video, you may be watching this video at the start of trout season. Now, this is during the season. It's at the very end of the season. Matter of fact, we're in the middle of July right now, which shows you that in Pennsylvania, the last time they stocked here was early May. But if you have good bait like we did today, you can still tangle in with some beautiful rainbow trout. Oh, fish on. Double. Big Mike's on a double. Oh! Ooh. I got a bush fish right now. Look at this. Almost not cool. Yours is right up on the bank, too. Don't tangle your line in there, Big Mike. I think he's right underneath over here. You're wrapped on that tree. You just came out. Got one fish in front of us, got one fish behind us. And hopefully two in the net. Look at the colors on that trout. Beautiful fish. There's one. Big Mike. Hold on, get two. We're about to get a double. Hey, look at that. It's been a while since you've been in Pennsylvania, yeah. huh? <laughs> All right, as you see, we just hooked up on a double, man. We just come down, just popping a little bit. A lot of the fish this time of year are right in the current, you know. It's really hot out. It's been hot for a couple weeks. These fish are right up in these rapids, sucking up oxygen and that cold water coming down. And uh, hey, the one got away as soon as right out the net, but still just another, another solid fish here. Good looking fish. Want to let them go. Let other people have fun catching those fish this late in the year. And hey, still a lot of fish in the systems right now. Fish on! He's fighting pretty good. Yeah, he is. Nice fish. You see that flash? Yeah, he's a nice one. Nice one. He got some energy today. Yeah, he does. Get that for me there, bud. Woo! Got it. Full inland steelhead, huh? You're free to swim away. I don't know, man. That thunder's thunder. Yep. Dumping pretty good. Fish are biting. Coming all the way up to me real quick. Hey, what? He's not that big. Not as big as the last one. He's uh, he's got some color to him. Getting that. Full fins. Good orange looking fins. Just a great looking fish. Hey, like I said, those rapids are holding those fish right now. You know, that fast current. They're just laying up in there, sucking up all that oxygen. Hey, it's kind of like us. You know, when we're fat and lazy and we're laying on the AC, don't want to go outside. That's what they're doing. All right, here in Pennsylvania, I tell you, I'm gonna go a little bit over my setup here. We're using a little bit longer rod, just a six to seven foot light powered rod. Four pound test is the main key. And uh, as you see, we're fishing eggs today in the current. So we're using a float. You know, a couple split shots just to keep that float straight up and down and then space them out evenly down about 18 inches away from your hook, you know. And uh, a lot of the fish we've been catching today, we're real close to the bottom. We're fishing a couple inches off the bottom. And the key was a little bit of a uh, natural deluxe and also, pink shrimp you know pink shrimp and a little bit of dirty water we're picking up a lot of rainbows a little bit of natural luck switching it up here and there and that's how we've been catching them so we're using a size 12 egg hook and what I've been doing with this hook here is just taking one natural or one pink and just putting it on there sliding it right up towards the eye sucking it in and just floating one natural right down through the current now that's how I've been picking up a lot of my fish today fish on baby Woo! Back in my home state of Pennsylvania. You want me to get him? Bring it right to me. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so as you know, here we go. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Another one of those days where the rain, thunder, lightning, is coming and we're trying to go in here and really just catch a couple of fish before it hits us um we don't have much time but we think we can get a couple more and then get out of here get to a safe spot before the heart of the storm gets to us yep. right in front of a another rainbow in the rain <laughs> Woo! 
Hey, at least the rain's pulling us off, huh? Yep. Beautiful fish. All right, so as you guys know, we were here two days ago, uh, and you guys saw the sky blew up on us. It rained probably two and a half, three inches, thunderstorms, floods, everything. This creek came down that quickly, and two days later, we're fishing again. And uh, the water still has some color to it. However, the smell of the eggs is getting these fish to bite regardless. That fish was way down there. He's right on top of the rapid. Oh no. Okay, he's coming. He's free? Yeah, he was on that big rock where they usually hang out. His heel's pretty decent, or it's just the current. This current's super high from what it was before that storm hit. Yeah, yeah, we were definitely getting up. So uh, he's hugging. Looks like another rainbow though, and uh Yeah, it was another rainbow. First drift. Oof. Good solid fish, real good fish. Maybe this the coloration of the water is turning them on, you know? Dude, we need to go up above it too. That's a good fish, man. Look at the colors on that. Woo! The water's a little discolored and it came down here first cast, natural. Would you take a look at this rainbow right here? Just beautiful, all red fin, solid stripe. Just a good looking fish, good solid fish for the stream this time of year. Big Mike's on again. Double, double. John hooked up too. I'm gonna get between you guys. Oh, he's jumping like a steelhead. Does it look like another rainbow? Yeah, a little guy though. But it's cool. He's fighting. Double, baby. That thing destroyed you, <laughs> right in front too. Did you see that bobber go Shoo. down? Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I'm gonna play this one safe. That thing didn't even, whoa! <laughs> nice fish. Woo! Yes! <laughs> oh man, look at that tank, dude! <laughs> wow, check out this rainbow. That thing crushed my line. Just took it and started peeling upstream. Boy, look at this. Boys, we got a triple. One there. John just got his, finally in the net. We're about to release his. And the twins caught two. <laughs> oh, you got a nice one, huh, Mike? You're gonna call it rainbow again? Rainbow again. Yeah. There is number two. Look at that. This net's giving heavy. I don't know. You think it's gonna fit in there, Big Mike? Oh, it's coming. Number three is headed towards the net. Oh, it's still on. What the? Look at this. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm on Hold up. You must be doing like the local motion from back here, in here. your days. Look at that. Net, there net, it is. Net it out the Big Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take a look at this solid fish here. You know, he's just a thick, heavy fish, especially for this late in the season. I can't believe as many fish as in this year. You know, just a good one. We're going to get him back in the net here, hang out with his other buddies. You know, just look at the colors on these fish, though. You just can't beat them. Full fins, pink, good pink stripe. Let's send this one home. He's ready to go. Send his other buddy home. It's another solid one here. The guys used two eggs and only two eggs today. They used natural deluxe, and they also used pink shrimp Potsky salmon eggs. Now, they used a small salmon egg hook, and only one egg at a time. You don't need to put a treble hook with a whole bunch of eggs on there. This presentation works awesome. And we also tell you guys every time, we're using bobbers because one, 
you can see the strike go down right away and we can release those fish because we're hooking them in the mouth. Now, notice that this episode was filmed over two days. We spent about 30 minutes here two days ago and you saw the sky blew up on us. What do you know? Rain in Pennsylvania, what a shocker. We didn't just get rain, we got three inches of rain. It was nasty here. However, we waited a day, actually waited almost two full days, came back here and we're fishing the same section of water, spent another hour and as you guys can see, we caught and released several dozen fish on these baits in a short period of time. Now, these techniques can be used anytime during the fishing season. It doesn't matter if it's the first week or the last week. Use these, use those great Posky eggs, and you can have the success we did.